This upgrade to version 9.3a has some new features in the areas of backing up data and usability. On the toolbar, there is a new button to back up your data to a zip file, in addition to the previous backup choices on the file menu. This button must be configured to set how much of your data is selected, which is done from Backup Options. At the top, the Button field lists the same choices as the menu. The Toolbar button has the first letter of the backup choice for identification. Also, when a data backup is done by any of these methods, the zip file name now has a three-character suffix to indicate the data selection choice of Module, Related, or All. And you can specify whether exclusive access is required to do the backup, meaning all other users must first close their Adagio programs for this company. Another significant feature is the ability to automatically backup data prior to particular functions. For Ledger, this would be before posting or unposting a batch or doing certain year-end processing steps. These automatic backups never require exclusive access to the company data, so they can be done without interfering with other users. From the backup options, each supported process is listed with a selection to do a backup either never, prompted, or always before the process. Also displayed is which data will be backed up, and an approximate time for how long that backup step will take. If you choose to prompt before backup, there will be two buttons that you can choose to click, where one will have the inclusion to backup data. If you choose to always backup, then the confirmation question will include this. You can keep up to 99 automatic backups using a different numbering scheme than the regular backups above. When one of these backups is done, the zip file name will consist of the two character program code, then auto back, followed by the two digit incrementing backup number and the three character suffix. When this number reaches the maximum, the next backup number will reset to one and overwrite the previous file. Also standard to 9.3a upgrades are some changes to the user preference options. In the application area, some options for toolbar and status bar display have been removed and all automatically set as enabled and non-optional. Replacing these are new options for preferences when double-clicking in numeric, date, or finder enabled fields. In previous versions, double-clicking in these field types would respectively open a calculator, a calendar, and a smart finder. Now you can choose to disable any or all of these and simply select the field contents when double-clicking, perhaps to easily overwrite the value. In previous versions, the feature to ignore style properties would by default also set banded colors on the filterable grids, which for Ledger is the Accounts grid. You had to manually click the Ignore Style Color button to see the grid with filter colors applied. Now, this feature has been tweaked so that you can generally enable grid banding for all grids except for those with filters, and specifically indicate that you want these grids to show the filter row colors or to ignore the filter colors and instead show the same grid banding as the rest. You can now specify the date format in grids, different than the Windows short date format. Enter the desired date format and see an example when a valid format is entered. 
This affects grids only and not data entry forms. And Adagio programs at version 9.3a will reveal these buttons when a new product, Adagio Dock Store, is installed. Look for exciting new features coming to Adagio in the fall of 2017.